everyone, it's Carly Shea and welcome to a very different video than I've ever done before. I kind of got this idea from Dustin, one of my favorite YouTubers. I'll link his channel down below. Go check him out. He has a bunch of great, amazing content. If you all like this, I'll definitely keep doing it. I think it's a really fun idea. So I've got some chips and a Pepsi because for some reason I felt like this would be weird to do without food. So snack. So my sophomore year has come to a close and it is now officially summer and that's kind of what I thought we would have a little chat about. Looking back as sophomore year, hopes for the summer, all the goods. Um, and definitely comment down below any of y'all's thoughts, whether you just ended a new school year or maybe you have a job, whatever it may be, I'd love to hear about it. I think sophomore year is definitely my favorite school year I've had so far, like out of literally every school year ever. <laughs> uh, I feel like elementary school, I was too young. Middle school was just COVID basically. And freshman year kind of sucks for everyone, let's be honest. It wasn't awful for me, but it wasn't really great either. I was kind of settling into my new school. And I didn't really make any friends like I did, but I wasn't like close with them yet. But this year I've definitely got closer to people as well as made a lot of new friends. And that's really nice. So I would definitely say it's the best school year of my life. I've had so much fun with friends without all the middle school drama. Oh my lord. Something else. My friend group, top tier drama. It was so bad. Middle school wasn't great and that's okay. <laughs> High school I think is definitely gonna be better. I am kind of nervous for my junior year because like I've heard from everyone that like it's really hard. And I signed up for a lot of harder classes. Like ugh, so my school doesn't have AP. We have IB, the International Baccalaureate. It's like European AP? I don't know. It's kind of stupid. I'm not doing the full program. I was going to, but then I was like, actually, I think I'm going to hate myself if I do that, so I'm not doing that. That way I have more time for, like, other things I want to do, but I am still taking a few of the classes. Like, I'm taking IB Lit and Lang. I'm taking IB European History, but I think I'm going to hate because I do not like history very much. So that might not be very fun, but we'll see. And then I'm also taking AP Music Theory. It's, like, one of the only AP classes at our school. I think that'll be really fun. I'm, like, a music nerd. I think it'll be hard, but in like more of a fun way than like I'd be your bit history. <laughs> but I really just want to have more time to do things that I love. Like I definitely want to try and be a part of my school's musical again. And you know, like I'm in my school's orchestra and I'm in two choirs next year and I do piano outside of school and I'm starting bagpipe lessons like in an hour, I think. Yeah, an hour and a half. <laughs> so that's something new. I don't know. Why bagpipes? Yeah, I, I don't know. My mom just kind of said me. I don't know. It was like somehow my mom brought it up sometime. I think my favorite part of the whole school year had to have been the musical. It was just such a great experience. Obviously, I auditioned last year and didn't get a part, but that's okay. This year I got a part and I was just ensemble, but it was so much fun. I just made a lot of new friends and it was just really fun to be a part of something like that. Like where I have a job and I'm important, but I don't have too much responsibility. And then next week, this summer, I'm doing Mean Girls the Musical. I'm gonna be ensemble again. There's probably gonna be a vlog or two from that, so stay tuned. Subscribe down below so you don't miss it. Emmett will definitely still be in it if you remember him from that last video. He's also an ensemble with me. I'm ensemble in Mean Girls. I don't have any lines or anything. But I think it'll be fun again to just learn the harmonies, do the fun stuff, not have to worry about like the pressure of performing by yourself. You're in a group, safety in numbers. I also had so much fun on my school Seattle trip. A vlog of that just came out, so be sure to check it out. I'll link um, part one up in the corner and then I'll link both parts down below. It was really fun. I like really was not wanting to go. Like I didn't think I would have anyone to hang out with. I kind of got put with a random roommate because I was like, I don't really know who to find. But she was really nice and like we didn't really talk outside of like, okay, good night. Good morning, we should go down the stairs. Like we didn't really hang out during the trip, but that was totally okay. And then I ended up hanging out with Athen. Um, they're definitely in that video a ton. Um, they're my bus buddy. We like sat next to each other on the bus, which like most of that trip was bus rides. That's okay. And we like hung out. It was really a lot of fun. Like I knew Athen beforehand, but not super well. And we really got to know each other really well on this trip. And it was just like so much fun. I thought I was going to be alone, but I really wasn't. And it was like the best time ever. Just like getting to explore the city and go off on your own and have that kind of freedom in a new place was really fun. I've never gotten to do anything like that before. Every trip I've ever been on was with my parents. And that's like, okay, like family trips are great. But this is just something new that was like so fun. I really love the Museum of Pop Culture. That's got to be my favorite part. There was just like so much to see. It was like so cool. Check out that vlog if you want to see more. So I just turned 16 like two weeks ago, which is like really crazy to me 
I mean, like, it's always something I've looked forward to, of course, like, being able to drive. Speaking of, car tour coming soon. Subscribe down below so you don't miss it. That's gonna be really fun. I'm excited for that. I have a lot of fun decor and, like, organization things. It's very cute, and I love my car so much. But just, like, leading up to it, I was, like, so much excited and so much anticipation, and I love it. It's amazing. It wasn't, like, a letdown or anything, but more of, like, a surprise. Like, the first place I drove, so I drove to my acting studio, because, like, I got my license that Wednesday. Next place I was driving was acting. My mom was like, okay. Go ahead, you can do it. But the way that I would usually go that I got a million times uh, was closed. You can't make that left for whatever reason. I don't know. It might be open now. I should look at that. So I had to go a completely different way that I'd never gone before. I drove on this one road that I don't think I'd ever driven on before. <laughs> so that was a little crazy, a little cuckoo. Um, and then I actually took a wrong turn at the end. I kind of like was going in a different way the way Google Maps was having me do it. And I was like, this doesn't feel right. So I decided to not listen to Google Maps. And I just kept going and I was like, and eventually I did was like okay I'm just gonna turn right here I looking back I feel like that might have been a one-way road and I was going the wrong way but it's fine because I didn't hit anything and it was fine it was fine I lived so I went and I like went on this weird road that I'd never been on before it was like really random I was like okay we're gonna go here and I made it and it was totally fine I was like on time I left like 10 minutes early just in case something like that would happen so it was on time after getting a little lost but it was like literally right at the place i just made a wrong turn right at the end but it was just kind of crazy the whole time i was just like uh whoa <laughs> whoa one thing i will say listening to my own music in the car oh it's so nice i just love it like being able to like chew my songs although i will say when i put spotify on shuffle when i'm on bluetooth in my car it doesn't work it's really annoying if you know why and you know how to fix it please let me know and i think that my spotify minutes have definitely rocketed because i don't really listen to a lot of music like i don't like listening to music at school i just like feel weird about it and i can't focus on what the teacher is saying for some people they focus better great me just doesn't work for me not gonna do it like sometimes i listen to music at lunch if like i end up just like doing homework at lunch Maybe I'll do that. But like when I'm at home doing homework, I tend to watch YouTube <laughs> while I'm doing it. it. Takes a little longer, but I enjoy myself. I'm totally changing my posting schedule this summer. I'm still gonna do Saturdays at nine in the morning. And I'm also gonna be doing Tuesdays at nine in the morning or later. We'll see about that. But then like this week I posted on Monday and Wednesday, I posted a Seattle trip. And then this is coming out on Saturday if I uh, edit on time. Um, and then next week we're doing three posts again. Cause I'm like really behind. Car tour on Tuesday, room tour on Thursday, and then there's gonna be another video. It's a week in my life if you're curious. On Saturday, and then I'm gonna go to the Tuesday Saturday double posting for quite a while. I'm taking there's a couple weeks. There's like a week or two here and there where I'm not gonna be posting on that Tuesday, but I'll still be a Saturday post. And the reason I'm doing this, I'm doing the double posting for like basically all of the summer. I think through like half of August taking two weeks off is because so far this year I've been really bad about posting on time and then like not posting for like a month and it's so bad and I want to make up for it so basically that's why I'm doing the double posting this summer and although you didn't get like basically any posts I think for the entirety of March you're gonna get four extra posts this summer hope that makes sense basically you're getting the same videos as you would if I had posted on time just not on time so stay tuned for that. It's a summer extravaganza. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm kind of like, don't know what to post because I can't just like film a bunch of day in my life. I mean, I can, but it's kind of more boring than at school. I'll still do a few, but like, it's not as interesting. There's no friends to like film and see what they do. <laughs> Contents. So that being said, if you have any ideas for me, please comment them down below. I'd love to hear it. And if I'm able to do so, I definitely will things this summer yeah i also have some trips planned this summer we're going to glenwood again i did it last year so i'll probably vlog that because that's really fun to vlog with emery my cousin crafty cutie amazing channel link it down below check her out then we're also doing a trip to um like new york and all the little baby states up there so i might vlog a day or two of that but i don't think i'm gonna vlog the whole thing because it's like a two-week trip that's a bit much for me but maybe we'll see we'll figure it out i think it'll be fun i also have a job this summer and i did have a job last summer i just didn't work that much same job my family actually owns an Italian restaurant, and I just, like, worked there last summer as a hostess. A little bit, I would only do, like, two or three lunches a week, and then today was my first day back working as a hostess lunch. It was really slow today. Kind of boring, low-key. But, like, I already know how everything works, and I feel very confident with it, so I'm just gonna, like, pick up some more shifts, and then maybe 
keep a dinner shift or two through the school year, um, make some more money there. I can always use her, please. <laughs> yeah, I um, I really enjoy working at my family restaurant. It is like hard. Um, like you have to like know the abbreviations for each like meal. You have to know what question to ask. It's like, oh, you want the spaghetti? Oh, did you want the homemade or the regular pasta? Great. Did you want the meatball or sausage with that? Great. Did you want a super salad? Oh, great. What dressing did you want? What soup did you want? It's a lot of questions. It's a lot of stuff to memorize. Um, but I feel like I got good at it last summer. Like I really got the hang of it. And now jumping back in, I'm like, and we're good. I feel like I'm good with that. Sometimes I just kind of panic. For no reason. I was on the phone with someone and they were making like a big party reservation and my uncle, also my manager, was like, oh let me talk to them and I was like, let me do, let me, t let me, t let me, man <sighs> let me have you speak to my manager. It took me so many tries and it was actually the most embarrassing thing ever. I was like, <sighs> I like just couldn't speak. And like I knew what I was trying to say. My brain was just not wording. If you know what I mean? That happens to me a lot. I don't know. Sometimes I just kind of like, can't form coherent sentences. It's also why these videos take a really long time to edit because I literally will spend 10 minutes on an intro because I cannot word. I cannot think about how I want to word something. Anyway, you don't care about that. I just thought that was funny. No, I didn't. I thought it was really embarrassing and I hated that that happened. But nothing to do, right? Just live with it. I think also this summer, I just want to like, I don't know, go on walks, be that girl, have a little glow up, have fun, hang out with friends a lot. But also, make that money, focus on YouTube, get that content, learn a new instrument, practice my previous existing instruments. It's just like, a, there's a lot that I want to do. And like, I feel like less time than I think. And I also like, want to have time for myself and like, take a day to just like, hmm, self-care. You know? There's just a lot that I want to do and not a lot of time, which like, sucks. But that's life. We'll just have to uh, see where it heads, you know? See what road I take, what I can get done. I'm excited for this summer. I am also kind of sad that the school year is over, which is a first. There's a lot of people that I got to know this school year that like I really enjoy spending time with, but like not people that I would hang out with outside of school. School friends. And they're great and I love them and I love talking to them and stuff. Um, but I don't think it's a thing where either of us would ever be like, hey, want to come over to my house? But if they ever do, I will be like, yes. But I would never ask first. I don't know if that's a me thing. I just like, get a little little nervy about that stuff. Uh, you know, a little reminiscent of the school year. Graduating as a senior, like that's gonna be hard. Because a lot of those people you're never gonna see again. Maybe you're in their town and you're like, hey, wanna get coffee? But I feel like I would not be the person to reach out. <laughs> Cause again, it makes me a little, a little nervy. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a funny thing. And that's like life and that's moving on. But it's like always something I've struggled with is like saying goodbye to people and letting go. There's like people that I were friends with and we're not anymore. And I have gotten over it and I have my peace with it, but it took a very long time. You know, it took like two, three years and for them it probably took a week. And that's okay, that's life. I have a hard time letting go of people and that's okay. This got off on a really weird tangent. I guess it's kind of about the summer. I'm excited for the summer. I have fun things planned. I have fun things for this channel. I have some fun things for my personal life. <sighs> I think it's gonna be a good time. And I've officially been sitting here talking for like 20 minutes. Ooh, I also want to watch some new shows. If you have any show recommendations, comment down below. I'll check them out if I haven't already seen them. If I have already seen them, I'll let you know my opinions on them. Or like comment down below any videos you want to see, as previously stated. I would love to try and do them. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe down below, do the bell for more content like this. If you like this kind of format of having a conversation, I'll definitely do more of it because I think it's really fun. Maybe it's entertaining to you, maybe it's aesthetic, maybe it's background noise. All of that's okay. Give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. This is VR to more people who also may enjoy seeing this video. And it lets me know that you do enjoy seeing this kind of content. I hope that if you're out of school like me, you have an amazing, amazing summer. You had an amazing school year. If you're not and you work, I hope you had a great weekend. A uh, great week to come. And that's all for today's video. Bye, everyone.